my grandparents are illiterate but both my parents are well educated so I'm not from a family where everybody's so well educated but everybody love education my paternal grandmother taught herself how to read and by the time she passed away she could be French Creole and English I don't know how she did it because she'd never been to school one day and she was with an orphan she learned French by teaching her kids like you know come sit down here and read this and as the kids are reading she's watching over their shoulder and that's how she learned French and she trained herself how to read so it's you know it's like and she always say if I even went to school for two years I'd be the president of Haiti <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke in the family so it's everybody always loved education so being in education helping people get an education have a better life is truly a joy I'm so glad I asked Junie that question Education has been at the heart of her family's transformation. Within a generation, they are not only educated, but they have become a family of educators. Junie, our programme director and founder of Cora to Moon, our partner in Haiti, describes the willingness that transformed her family. Education and the belief that we can all make it is at the heart of what we do at Education. Our organisation began in 2010, when I met fellow international Emma Walsh and Junie Bertrand in Haiti. Emma and I were assisting after the earthquake, and Junie, born and bred in Port-au-Prince, had been working as a local educator for nearly 20 years. Junie, her family and the community they have been supporting, along with many in Haiti, were deeply impacted by the earthquake. The school system in Haiti had come to a halt. Emma and I heard a need to provide financial stability, and as we began to understand what committing to send students back to school looked like, we saw an opportunity to help this community long term. In Haiti today, it costs a family a third of their annual income to put one child in school for just one year. We started hoping to support five families. It is five years later and we now support 50 fantastic students and we have no intention to stop. We fund scholarships for children to attend kindergarten, primary and secondary school. And for the first time this year, we've sent three young women to university. We help those that love to learn, but don't have the means. When you support a child with education, our scholarship program covers their tuition fees, books, stationery, locally made uniforms, shoes and backpacks. The children are bright. They're capable. There is this fire within them. Our local director, Junie, ensures that their flames always remain lit. Getting an education is an opportunity for the young people we support to shape not only their own futures, but their communities that surround them. Natural and human-made disasters may remove their material possessions, but nothing can take away an educated mind. Your support will enable us to continue our work for the next 12 months. Thank you for believing in our vision. Well, some blow to go, you'll shoot me to set my dead cock on my lunga gay, I'm not